It's going. <clears throat> What's poppin' pimpin'? It's your boy Kid back with another vid. And today I'm gonna bring you guys a top 10 list video and this is the top 10 shoes inspired by food. And a couple drinks, but mainly food. So, I have this list on my phone. I'm gonna put some pictures up as I name them. Um, but first I wanna give an honorable mention to two sneakers, which is the Nike Dunk High Momofuku. Um, I didn't put this just because it's not really a food inspired sneaker, it's more just like a guy who owns a restaurant did a collaboration. It's still a dope shoe, but I just didn't feel the need to put it on this list. And the other, another honorable mention is the Nike Dunk Low Lobster Collection. None of the lobsters made this list. Sorry, y'all probably hate me for that, but they're just not my favorite. They're cool, but they're not my favorite from all the rest of these. So let's get into the list. Uh, at number 10, we have the Saucony Bacon and Eggs. Um, this shoe is simply what the name says, Bacon and Eggs. It has like brown in it, tannish colors. Y'all seen a picture somewhere up here. Um, a cool shoe. Would I buy it? Probably not. <laughs> not for, I don't know, maybe 100 and under I would, but anything under, probably not. But it's still a clean shoe nonetheless. At number 9, we have the New Balance and J. Crew collaboration called Butterscotch. This shoe is absolute fire. I don't know if it's the pictures that Goat has up that makes them look fire or if they're actually fire, but they're super clean. This like tan brown, um, pretty much butterscotch colorway, but not really like the actual candy because that candy is like more yellow in person. But I don't know, clean shoe. I really like it. I really want a pair. Um, I need to find them in my size though. So will they come? Eventually. <laughs> like Bullet RC says, no L's, just delayed W's. Next up, at number 8, we have the New Balance Cotton Candy. This shoe is super, super, super simple, but I really like it. It's basically an all-white or all-cream upper with the blue and pink hits on the bottom. Not too much going on, but it's just super, super clean. Obviously, you get the point of cotton candy. Just a really clean shoe. Um, can't go wrong with it. <laughs> at number 7, we have the Pizza Hut Pie Tops 2. And the particular colorway I'm talking about is the red one. Um, they have a, a brownish one and then there's one with the shoe surgeon, I believe, that he did. But the one I'm talking about is the, the, orig the original red one. Um, super, super dope, all red. Um, it was just like a one-of-a-kind shoe. Like, who would have thought they would have made something like that where you press a button and it orders a pizza for you. Like, that was just crazy. And that was just a cool-ass shoe. I remember seeing the commercials for it and I was like, I want a pair, but you know, the prices are kind of up there, so probably not going to get them anytime soon. And number six, the rest of this list from six to one are Nike Dunks, so if you're not a fan of Nike Dunks, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> number six is the Nike Dunk High Big Gold, which is inspired by the Big Gold drinks at 7-Eleven, all red with hits of white, and then I believe it comes with green and red laces. Um, super dope, super like christmas themed shoe i had a chance to get these for like 50 bucks and um i just i don't know why i didn't and then i went back to get them and they were gone so i was like damn i should have got them but oh well you live and you learn but yeah the nike dunk high big gold next at number five we have the nike dunk low candy canes which is just a super clean shoe obviously inspired by the candy canes black I mean not black white and red, red white shoe with red stripes so super clean super simple uh, this is very 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 Christmas themed so if you're gonna wear these I suggest Christmas <laughs> uh, at number four we have the Nike Dunk Low cold pizza I'm gonna be real with you I didn't know about this shoe until I started making this list and I looked up shoes and inspired by food and drinks and stuff and I seen this, I was like, dude, this is insane. It's an all over like silver foil upper with black hits and the, the foil is supposed to represent leftover pizza when you put pizza in a foil and then wake up the next day and eat it cold. Um, the shoe is just super, super clean, black and silver. You really can't go wrong with that. So yeah, that's the reason it's number four. All right, now we're getting into the top three territory. And number three is the Nike Dunk Low Coffee. And we all know that shoe, as you can see on the picture, is inspired by Starbucks. But due to 
um, trademarking, they're not going to call it Starbucks, so they just call it coffee. Um, all over brown shoe with the white midsole, I believe, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But I believe it's a white midsole with the brown bottom. Um, it's a super nice shoe. I usually don't like brown on sneakers, only on certain sneakers. Um, this one, I think it works. So I, would, I definitely want this pair eventually. Now we're getting into the top two. Number two that I actually just picked up recently is the Nike Dunk High Chicken and Waffles. And as you can tell by the name, it's a waffle upper or waffle textured upper with the gum midsole and the swoosh has syrup dripping off of it. Uh, the insole has a, a chicken on it with the same texture of a waffle. So that's really interesting. Um, I do have those down here somewhere. Um, and they're a really clean shoe. If you can get your hands on them, I would suggest so. Uh, they're a really nice pair. Now the number one sneaker inspired by sh food and drinks <laughs> is the Nike Dunk Low Heineken. Uh, that shoe is fire. It is a grail for a lot of people. I'm not just saying it's number one because of it's hard to get or how expensive it is, but it just looks so dope. It's all white with hits of green or overlays of green and like hits of red. It's just, it's super, super clean and I really like it. I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe Nike got sued for that shoe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Y'all can do the research, but I'm pretty sure they got sued for that. And then, uh, but it's just so super dope, dope shoe. I really want that shoe. A lot of people want that shoe. Will it ever retro? Probably not. And will I ever get my hands on it? Eventually when, you know, I'm older and have a higher paying job and, you know, and I'm an adult. <laughs> but it is a super dope, dope shoe. And that, you guys, was my top 10 list of the best shoes inspired by food and drinks. <laughs> Uh, hopefully y'all like this video. If you did, like it, leave a comment, do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Give me ideas and I can make more videos. Uh, I have a couple more lists that are, of list videos I'm going to make. So uh, hopefully y'all rock with this. And uh, until next time, I'll catch y'all next one. Peace.